Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I am back with another custom ROM for our Redmi Note 10. Uh, this is for Mojito and Sunny. And uh, this is the Superior OS 12. And this is the unofficial build, but it's completely stable and can be used as daily driver. As you can see here, it's Android version is 12. Security patch is all the way latest 5 June 2022. So in this video, I will show you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 10. And I will also show you a short review of this ROM. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, first of all, let's talk about its stability. This ROM is completely stable. There is no any single bug or issue in this ROM. Everything is just working fine. As you can see here, applications are also played very well without any lags. And uh, in the camera, we got this, uh, we got this simple camera. Uh, using this camera, you can record and capture all the pictures. And if you want advanced options like dark mode and uh, night mode, portrait mode, then you can go for the G cap. Other than that, uh, in the home screen here we have a launcher launcher, which is uh, named as Spiri OS launcher. In this ROM, from here you can manage the icon settings, home screen settings, app drawer settings, and in the misc, uh, you can use taskbar and show grid of reset apps. So these are really cool options. And from the left, you can access the Google Now feed. After it, we have widgets right here. From here, you can uh, add a lot of widgets in this ROM. As we already know, Android 12 is famous because of its widgets. Uh, after it, we have wallpaper and styles. From here, you can change the wallpaper. Unfortunately, uh, we only get this uh, one wallpaper being installed. But don't worry, you can Google them. And uh, after it, you can enable dark theme. You can also enable the themed icons and you can change the app grid. And uh, in the applications, we don't get a lot of janky applications. There are a few, only few applications that are pre-installed uh, like weather, YouTube and White Studio. These applications are installed by me manually by going into the Play Store. Uh, like you don't need to have to remove any janky application after installing this uh, ROM. So now let's dig into the settings and uh, in the quick settings we have some options right here like extra dim always on display which is working fine but it's gonna drain your battery quickly so I don't recommend to use this and in the setting we get a lot of customizations like in the superior goodies here we have all available customization first of all you can read about the project then we have customizations from here you can uh, go into the moment monet engine and from here you can do some tweaks you can change the font font styles you can change the icon pack signal icon style wi-fi icon style and you can also change the icon shape after it we have status bar from here you can adjust the status bar icons and other icon settings like we also have the battery styles right here so you can enable or disable the battery style and you can also change the battery style and percentage style and you can also enable the network indicators after it we have quick setting settings button settings here we only have playback controls then we have navigation bar from here you can change the navigation bar style then we have gestures in the gesture we have system gestures uh, which is uh, which has the one-handed mode it is my favorite feature from the Android 12. So, other than that, here we have three fingers for screenshot, double tap on lock screen, double tap on status bar, and uh, after it, we have lock screen settings, customizations, and then we have power menu. From here, you can enable the advanced restart, and in the notification, here we have some uh, notification settings and in call vibrations, and in the misc, we have ripple effect and wake on plug. We don't have any gaming mode in this ROM. So after it, we have the battery. The battery backup of this ROM is really amazing. And uh, from here, you can check the battery usage, battery saver, battery manager, and you can also note the battery temperature. Uh, then we have storage sound. In the sound, we also have some new options like Mi Sound Enhancer and Enable Hi-Fi. You can enable this uh, option to increase the sound quality. Then we also have the clear speaker. 
After it, we have uh, accessibility, security. In this security, we have all available security options like face unlock is working, fingerprint is working, and all screen uh, locks locks are also working. So, no need to be worried about security. And then we have privacy, location, safety, emergency, Google system. In this system, we have languages and input, date and time, backup, multiple user reset option, thermal profiles. And in the about phone, you can check your Android version, which is Speedy OS 12, unofficial build, but is, it is completely stable and it can be used as daily driver. It is based on Android 12, security patch is 5 June 2022. So, if you want to use this ROM as your daily driver or want to try this ROM, then a recovery should be installed on your Redmi Note 10. So, if you have not installed any recovery yet, then you can watch my video from the link in the description. After installing the recovery, download the ROM and G apps from the link in the description and uh, reboot your device into any installed custom recovery. Uh, you can reboot your device into recovery by simply pressing and holding power button plus volume up button together. So right now I am using the orange fox recovery. You can use any recovery you want. So after going into the recovery, go to wipe, click on format data and you have to click uh, type yes and then click on the stick button it gonna wipe your data so go back to home and I am not doing these steps because I have already installed this ROM now look at your downloaded ROM mine is in the SD card here we have it Spirit OS 12 Mujito just click on it swipe right from here and after installing the ROM uh, you just need to flash the recovery uh, your installed custom recovery image file or zip file uh, we are installing the recovery zip file because uh, if you don't install the recovery zip file after installing a custom rom it will be replaced with the custom rom the recovery and uh, that's why we are installing this recovery zip file after flashing these files you can also flash the magic manager if you want to root your rom and uh, after following these steps go back to home menu click on reboot and click on system and in a few seconds the ROM will be booted up on your Redmi Note 10. So hope you guys like this video. If you really did hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Peace.